Hi, my name is Vishal. Uh, just I just want to show you how to make a parking cone. This tutorial is uh, suitable for a beginner just to understand basic modeling techniques. So the parking cone is a, a right example for that. So I've taken a new blender and just uh, deleting the uh, cube which was there earlier. So I would like to start with uh, something called uh, grid so I just choose the grid here so if you see the grid options are here and then we can also switch on the wireframe so that you could generally control the number of subdivisions so I'll just put it to 6 just to keep uh, the numbers in control so you see the 6 subdivisions are there in both the sides and now what I go do is I go to the edit and then preferences and then in preferences I will go to the add-ons and then uh, just search for mesh loop tools I will enable that and um, now what I've got is a simple plane here so I just hit tab and then select the face component and then select all the faces and then right click here now you see there is a loop tool option here which came because I've enabled that add-on there so I'm choosing this option called circle so what that does uh, that do is it will generally create a circular face in the center so uh, later you can control the radius if you wanted to control so I'll just uh, switch off that and leave uh, that like that so once that is done I will um, press E and then Z and then move it like that just a minute E Z then I will uh, scale it to the cone like that okay proportions are very specific to your requirement what you want to make it I can uh, select uh, the edge mode so I have to select the loop here it's basically not a loop it will um, the loop is ending up there but however I, I hold alt and then select uh, generally normal click will select only one edge but when I hold alt it will select the total loop from this point to that point so it's not selecting the, the whole thing so I just hold shift and alt then rotate shift alt then rotate shift alt and then use the scale tool and then scale it so I, as I said proportions are really up to the reference what you have got with you okay so once that is done uh, I will select the vertex mode by pressing one on the keyboard I'm selecting the vert vertices in the center on one side I'm hitting scale tool and then uh, y just to scale like that so just want to put the vert vertex point um, close as you see here it's little bit far so s and y okay I'll be doing that for the opposite side also and then S then choose X that's nice uh, once that is done I press 2 on the keyboard and then hold alt and click the boundary press E and Z and that should do the job now if you see this model is uh, pretty uh, good but uh, when I apply the subdivisions to it uh, in the modifier section subdivision surface okay so it's losing that shape I'm not able to preserve the shape there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some loops there so firstly I'll press 2 first hit tab then 2 and select the total loop right click and then choose option called bevel edges 
okay then just drag it and that should give me two lines there so while I'm doing that uh, bevel edges we got the options you can add segments there so I'll, I'll put just two segments nothing more okay I'll do the same thing on the bottom side selecting the loop control B and then just drag it that's okay here also control B let's drag it I will select that edge right click and then choose cup loop cut and slide click there and drag click there and drag and then you got the loops there once that is done I will select the model and then choose subdivision surface option I can switch off the wireframe and then add more subdivisions to it and there you go you got your polygon uh, model which is basically parking cone later you can uh, colorize it with the texturing tools but as far as the modeling is concerned this should be fine you can always go to this option and then say apply if you are expecting the uh, smooth to be applied to the polygon so converted to the polygons okay